You two are bad friends. Who are these two idiots? A white dude and an Asian dude. You two are disgusting. Well, you two are something. We're bad friends. Hola, bien bien, que tal, amigos? Welcome to our first live bad friends experience. Well, we got Andreas. Give him a round of applause. Get up on stage. Hey, guys. Hey. Wow. Thank you, thank you. I'm not going to lie, my legs are shaking. Uh, thank you all for coming to Mexico to see us. This is our first show live ever, and we're very excited. I didn't realize you guys were here to see me, but thank you. Yeah. So, without further ado, let's introduce the stars of Bad Friends, Bobby Lee and Andrew Santino. You two are bad friends. Who are these two idiots? You guys are weird. Andrew, looking good. Have you seen a Korean guy around here? Hmm, Bobby? You two are sociopaths. You two are disgusting. Oh, good. You two are back together. You guys are freaks. That's my opener. Viva la Mexico! Viva, viva! Oh. Hey, hey, let's see who can do it longer. Goal. <clears throat> let, me, let me go first, though. All right. All right? Go ahead. Is it goal, G-O-A-L? I said Viva la Mexico. Uh, oh. <laughs> but hey, you know how- Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Bad Friends Live! <laughs> We're here in Mexico, we've never done this, uh, and uh, we're so happy to be in Cancun. Oh, we're so happy to be here. Well, we're an hour south of, we're so happy to be an hour south of Cancun. Yeah. <laughs> I feel really loose this week, guys. Uh, yeah, I might hook up with a stranger. No, <laughs> no. Maybe a, maybe a black guy. A black guy? Yeah. Are there any single black men here that want to have sex with Bobby Lee? <laughs> right I in the front one, row. one black guy right there. Sir, can you excuse, stand up? Can you stand up me, and sir, wave? Excuse me. Yeah. He's married. He's married. <laughs> hold on, hold excuse on. Excuse me, sir. Stand back up. What is your name, sir? All right, lock eyes with me, Tommy. I know. I heard the first time. <laughs> Feels good, Tommy? Thank you. I don't think Tommy's interested at all <laughs> in having sex with you. Uh, thank you so much for coming. We have uh, a special guest that we don't want to waste any more time without because he's fucking incredible. He is incredible. He's from England. He's not from England. He's from Australia. Oh, He's yeah. got a fancy accent. He does have a fancy accent. Yeah. Do you want to introduce our guest? Oh, yeah. He's from England? No, he's from Australia. And he, uh, he I, I don't know much about him. Here's what I do know about him. Yeah. He's been really nice to me. That's nice, right? That's nice. And number two, um, he knows Brad Pitt. I don't know if I should he say that. He knows Brad Pitt. He knows Pitt. Brad Pitt. Um, that's it. He's one of the greatest uh, stand-up comics right now, alive on this planet. He's fucking incredible. You know him from his specials, ladies and gentlemen, Jim, Mr. Jim Jeffries! Jim Jeffries, everybody! <laughs> J 
Jim Jeffries, baby! That was very exciting. I like, I like how you guys came straight out and were pretty racist with yeah, the whole yeah, yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah. Like, would, that's you that's that's Jamaica, would you in Jamaica, would you come out and do the Jamaican accent and just... I can't. Can you translate for us a little? Yeah, he, he said he's very excited and Thank you, thankful, very much. thankful to both of you. <laughs> we brought along a Spanish guy to translate an Australian guy for some of those people in here that don't understand. Um, Jim, thank you so much for being here. Thanks this is having. amazing. So good to see you. Uh, your mic is I can't, on. I can't hear you, Bobby. Turn my mic on! Turn his mic on. <laughs> well, so it's me and Jim. That's it. No, come on. Here, he, she, he's got it. They got that mic working. Hello? Ah! I have a question for you, Jim. Did they um, force you to do this, or did you say yes politely? I, I was forced. There's an itinerary. Yeah. <laughs> I got to do this, then I got to do my show, then I got to do the comedy jam. They've filled my day, but yeah, I was forced to he do this. forced. This. I would have I done it if you asked me anyway, but you were forced to have me, so it's a reciprocal thing. <laughs> True. That it is true. true. That is true. There's nothing to make you feel better than uh, Just for Laughs charging these people $50,000 a ticket and the mics don't work. Guys, give it up for Just for Laughs. <laughs> Way to go. <laughs> We're excited to be here. You just got here now? I, I came in on the same plane as Bobby. Bobby, you just come from. Where did you come from? Yeah. And was that your son or? <laughs> where did you come from? He asked. Where did you, you. Where come, did you come Where did you come from? from? Like Korea? What are you talking yeah, about? He's yeah, saying, he was trying to say go back to your country in a very nice way. Yeah. In the last two days, where did you come from? I was in Hawaii, Yeah. and, the, and then I went to LAX and I ran into you. Okay, yeah. so I ran into Bobby at, at, at LAX, and he'd already come from Hawaii, and he'd been at the airport for eight fucking hours, and he was just <laughs> wandering around doing nothing. He was in business class with me, yet he didn't use the lounge, because yeah, he could, didn't figure out he could fucking go in there. <laughs> I didn't. Okay, calm can, down. I, 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 okay. <laughs> okay, can you just, okay. But I didn't know that if you have a first class ticket that you're allowed to be in the lounge. How the long have you been a comedian for? <laughs> You've traveled the world. You've 45, never figured this 55 out. 45 years or so, give or take. I've never been in the lounge. I don't know how to get there. But next time, next time you can bring, show me. Okay. All right. All Raise right. your hand if you have heard of the fact that if you ever had a first class ticket, you could be in a lounge. Raise your hand. Interesting. Yeah. The votes are in. The <laughs> eyes how, have it. And how do you get there? How do you find it? There's no signs. <laughs> and he said to me, once you get in there, who do you talk to? No yeah. one. You just scan your ticket. Boop. You're in. You learn. That's fine. That's all right. Sweating. <laughs> Sweating. By the way, we are going to be auctioning off this shirt for charity after the show. No, so. you're not. No, you're not. Yes, we are. <laughs> Anybody wants a ripped up Bowie sweaty shirt, we're gonna be auctioning off. You know what, dude? I'll give, I'll give it away for free. What do you think of that? We're gonna take it off. Take it off and give it away. <laughs> go, to the, go to the bottom. Who bit the as fuck well. are you? Yeah. Who well, the fuck are you? Here well. we go. <laughs> She could beat the shit out of any guy or girl at this event. I think she went, fight him, fight him for it. Beat his ass. Choke him out, choke him out real fast. Put him in a chokehold. Thank you so much. She came right up. Confidence, confidence. Let's give it up her. She just got herself a free shirt. Bold. I thought she was going to beat the shit out of you. Yeah, man. That I was like, she's going to fucking bench you and fuck you up. You didn't want to lose that. That's a great T-shirt, an old Bowie T-shirt. That's probably. I'm gonna get it back. Yeah, He's yeah. gonna get it back. Where the fuck are you? Over there. <laughs> After the show, can I have it back? <laughs> well, we'll give you another shirt of his. They're very polite to oh, give it back. Oh, don't yeah, give dude. it back to him. Yeah, dude. Oh, yeah. oh my oh, Tiger yeah. Belly shirt. Good trade. Good trade. I make this asshole. <laughs> I have a thousand of these at home. I don't want this piece of shit. Oh, all right. Good trade. Good trade. Your merch. Yeah, we want to put on Bob's shirt. We don't want to steal Kreischer's thunder. So let's get your shirt back on. What? 
Bad friends. He's, he bad, he oh, reminds he's himself bad. where he is. Oh, 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 <laughs> Every hour, he reminds himself what oh, he's they watching. They say it's on backwards, is what they were saying. It's on backwards. <laughs> yeah. But the good. <laughs> oh, now it makes sense. <laughs> You know, you know, my favorite part about this is there's people up at the bar that did not intend to attend this. <laughs> They're just trying to get like, a drink. Like, what the fuck is this shit? Yeah. Hey, like, hey, guys. All right, let's talk about some topics. Yeah, let's chat about some stuff. All right. What do you guys want to talk about? No. No, Rudy. Well, Rudy, Rudy couldn't come. Rudy, should we tell them? Rudy got deported. She's deported. She got deported. Can you? Rudy got caught on tax evasion, <laughs> so she got deported. Sorry. Go ahead, Bob. Okay. Oh my what God. What the fuck is that going? We're gonna lose control real fast <laughs> of this whole thing. You want me to do impressions right now, asshole? I got Jim Jeffries here. No, no, I wanna. I want to hear about Mad TV. That's what he wants to hear about. I don't even remember how the fucking. Play let's talk. Let's let's talk yeah, real. Yeah, Bobby, yeah, right now, Bobby's about to make a run on a popular TV show called Sex in the City, and he's. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> they got rid of that blonde girl and they replaced her with. <laughs> <laughs> what do you play on Sex in the City? Mr. Small. No. Ch Ch Chinese guy number three. Chinese guy number three. Who? Chinese guy number three. Chinese guy number three? Yeah, there's two other Chinese guys. They have a bigger role. <laughs> but I'm getting my fucking lines You're in, You're getting bro. your lines. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're getting your lines in. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much, lady. I appreciate it. Wait, so let me, let me say this story real fast. This is my favorite. We got here late last night. We went out to dinner. Fancy B got drunk as fuck last night. And also, for many of you, you're all fans, you know. Fancy B is, of course, Spanish and... People down here don't like him so much. And Fancy B speaks with his Spanish, you know, uppity fucking accent. And let me tell you something, these servers do not like Fancy B. <laughs> they don't, do they, fans? They think I'm a little fancy. A little fancy. I just sound like a British, British guy who sounds like He to sounds you. like how the British, you know, there's British people that are like, oh yeah, all right, mate, all right. But then there's British people like, oh, the car, the car. He sounds like that version to them. I'm they bad. did not, every time he got drunk and he'd call over a server, he'd be like, mira, 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 and they didn't like it. <laughs> they did not like it. The guy kept shaking his fucking head. And Fancy, and I said, should we leave a tip? And Fancy goes, you don't tip these people. That's what he said. That's what Fancy said. He did say that. I think, that is what Fancy said. I think I said it's all inclusive. Mm. <laughs> all inclusive, that's what he said. So was that your kid that I met at the airport? Is that my kid at the airport? Yeah, who was the kid? That's a kid I found at the airport. That's a... <laughs> no, of course it's my kid. I, I, my, my kid's birthday is this week, so I brought him out to the trip. Yeah. Um, it turns out that the resort's adults only, so I have to stay in a little bit just off to the side so I don't stay with you cunts. Uh, but... Uh, but yeah, it's why I, I'm out here. I'm out, I, I just got married in COVID and I have a two month old baby at home and I left my wife and baby at home and I brought my ex and my kid to the resort. So I, oh. I, I, let's I, give it up for that. I, might, I, might, I mustn't be a bad guy to fucking be able to pull that off, right? Normalize, Mind you, I do pay for everyone. Normalize bringing your ex on vacation. I think that should be the future. <laughs> Fuck your current, get your ex out here, baby. Did you wait? And, and, the, and the tour included your ex and your son coming with you, right? Uh, they, on, on tour, do they come with me? Yeah, they come on, on tour. On school holidays, I bring my ex and my son. And wow. then, otherwise, I don't bring the baby anywhere. The baby sits at Can't home. Can't bring a baby. Oh, my, my wife's. My, okay, I've, I've had two children with two different women, right? Yeah. And you know how people go, oh, the first one's made of glass, the second one's made of plastic? That's if you had it with the same woman, right? right? These were both fucking glass babies, right? So I, I, I've been through having a kid going, oh, you better watch it, don't let it fall over, like that. And then I was like, oh, fuck them, they're okay. And now my new wife's worse than the last one, so I'm, I'm back where I started. Yeah. But I look at it this way, like if you have two children with two different women, it's like a, it's like a science thing, like it's an experiment. 
Like, if, if one kid sh- turns out great, it's because the mother did a good job. And if the other kid turns out shit, it's because the mother did a shit job because I'm parenting them exactly the same way. <laughs> but <laughs> if they both turn out great, I'll take full credit. Yeah, as you should. As you should. This is my baby. This is the baby that I get to take care of. My big sweaty I, baby. Did you I, run a marathon? For some reason, I never picture either of you guys having kids. I don't see. We don't deserve the... them. We don't deserve them. What do you mean? I deserve children. You think? Do you think you should have kids? You know, I think I'd be a very good father. Yeah. Yeah, I think I would. I think I have, I have ethics and a morality that's different than other people. Yeah. 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 Like, ask me a question. I'll, I'll give you the right answer. All right. If a kid says, "Dad." Today at school, a man came up to me that I yeah. didn't know, yeah. and he asked if I could, if he could give me a ride home. What yeah. should I say to that man? Obviously, fucking yeah. Yeah, take a ride. <laughs> <laughs> right, because my children know Taekwondo. Oh. Right, they're like brown belts and stuff. Right, so they can handle themselves. Give me another situation. <laughs> give me another situation. Your wife says, "I'm tired. I, can you breastfeed?" What do you say? <laughs> <laughs> yes, 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 you can. I can. Well, do, 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 does milk come out of our gl- glands or no? Yours, yes. Oh, that's right. Yours, yes. Yeah. I, I've, no. had, I've had my kid latch on. Like, really? The, oh, yeah, yeah. I've, had, I've just been laying down <laughs> and I fucking had me baby and I put him up against me chest, like, you're all right. And he's just sucking on me tit. And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> and the look of horror when he comes back up with a hair in his mouth, just. <laughs> <laughs> Jim, are you, are you gonna, is this it for you? No more kids though, this is it. No more kids. Uh, my wife uh, wants another one, but I said, I, I can't do it again, I'm too old. And so I'm getting a vasectomy and she's fighting on it, but fucking my body, my choice, man. That's right. <laughs> Women don't get to dictate what we do with our bodies anymore. The buck stops here. I'll tell you a funny story. because I, 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 I was talking to my dad and my dad went, uh, he, my dad was talking about his love life. My mother passed away and my dad's getting out there a bit, you know. And I said, uh, Dad, I'm, I'm going to get a vasectomy. And I, he goes, don't get a vasectomy. He goes, some, most women, not all women, but most women, they like to see the cum. And I said, I said, Dad, after you have a vasectomy, you still cum. It just doesn't work anymore. And he went, oh, we'll get one then. It was the <laughs> fastest... It was the fastest I've ever seen someone change an opinion. Just yeah. like lightning. <laughs> Why are you dumbfounded? No, because I can't even understand what he's saying. He's so far away. <laughs> it's hard so, to hear like, each other because the speakers are going this way. I can't right. hear anything he's saying, so I'm doing this thing where I'm like, that's funny. <laughs> Can you guys hear what we're saying very clearly? <laughs> well, I guess that yeah, works. I'm, I, just, I, I, I'm just watching your lips move, man. Yeah, I'm getting good I know. At that. We need, well, they need it. There's no audio kickback. We'll get into it's that It's easier later. with you, harder with him because, you know. I don't, because he's Chinese? No, I want to fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> C- can I go back to the, the black guy? Are you asking me to go back to the black no, guy? I, I just want to apologize because I feel like I was aggressive in the beginning of the show. Yeah. And I apologize. I feel like there's a bad energy between us right now. Are you good? I'm fine too. Let's move on. I'll get good. What did you say, ma'am? I can't hear her. I'll, oh, do you, can you hug and make up? They want to hug, I guess. You know. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hug him, Bobby. Give him no. a hug, Bobby. Bobby. Oh no 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 no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I. I like that he kept the mask on for safety. <laughs> like, if you hug Bobby Lee, COVID is the least of your fucking problems. Yeah. Right? Jesus Christ. I can't wait to get this letter on Monday. He gets sued by Mexico as a country. You can't bring him down here anymore. He's a dangerous. He's a too dangerous. Is that a, to- that's a Tom and Jerry shirt? I like that. It's so funny, when, when black dudes can wear Disney stuff and no one says anything, or like cartoons, but if yeah. white grown-ups wear Disney stuff, everyone's like, is he ret- yeah, is he ret- but, <laughs> is he ret- yeah, but we're always leads in their movies, so that's a different thing. That's true, that's true, that is true. <laughs> Did you like the hug? Yeah, it was pretty good. <laughs> it was good? Yeah. 
I, I, should I get closer to Jim so I can hear him? Switch. Do you want me? I'll, I'll switch. Yeah. No. So everybody understands what was going on with us uh, up there. I'm gonna give you a taste of what our ears were hearing, so you don't think we're crazy. <laughs> All right, so that was what we were experiencing. Um, but now back to the show. Liquid, Liquid IV. IV. This is my favorite thing in the whole world. You know, I don't like water. Me neither. But when Liquid IV is in it, come this on, powdery refresh, this nutritious powder. It's delicious. That makes the water. It enhances it. It does. Look, uh, Liquid IV. Uh, you can take it first thing in the morning before a workout when you feel run down, you're tired, daily hydration maintenance, a hangover cure, which you know I love. Uh, look, flu season is in full swing. Proper hydration and vitamins can help support a strong immune system, making hydration a priority. Helps us feel healthier on a day-to-day -day basis. One stick of liquid IV and 16 ounces of water hydrates faster and more efficiently than water alone. Not only that, but the product tastes great sure with does. flavors like watermelon, strawberry, and lemon lime, which is my favorite. It's great tasting and uh, wonderful and functional. It's got five essential vitamins, more vitamin C than an orange and much potassium as a banana. It's healthier than sugary sports drinks uh, and it's delicious. My favorite is passion fruit. Oh. And I gave um, I gave uh, Bobo a pina colada and he, it's, and he loved it. Well, he what loved I love about it, it also contains five essential vitamins, mm -hmm. more than vitamin C, than an orange, and as much potassium as a banana. That's right. The optimal ratio of glucose, sodium, potassium delivers water nutrients into the bloodstream. It's a perfect balance to help you hydrate more quickly and effectively than water alone. All right. The company's donating 4 million servings in response to COVID-19, which we love them for. So do yourself a favor. Grab your favorite liquid IV flavors nationwide at Walmart. Or you can get 25% off when you go to liquidiv.com and use the code BADFRIENDS at That's checkout. That's 25% off anything you order when you get better hydration today using promo code BADFRIENDS at liquidiv.com. That's 25% off anything. Liquidiv.com. Code bad friends. Hello, Hello Tushy. Tushy. I'll tell you right now, you can eat a fried egg off of my butthole. I'll, I'll eat scrambled. You know why? Scrambled. It's because it's... I want scrambled eggs. All right, fine. Yeah. But the reason why is because my butthole is so clean due to the fact that I use a Tushy whenever yeah. I go to the poo-poo. Okay, look. I have a Tushy at the house. We have a Tushy here at the studio. You have a Tushy at home. Yeah. We both installed it on our own, and you know we're not... Um, we're not um, rocket scientists, and it's super easy. It's incredible. And if you've never tried a bidet, you're an idiot. You don't know what you're missing. Yeah, Clean you're, you're your dumb. Butt. And also, you know, if you care about the earth mm -hmm. and the environment, mm -hmm. you will get a Hello Tushy. You will get one. Yeah. This show this show is big on Tushies, and every time we have a guest that come over, we tell them, spray it in the butt, spray it in your pink eye, and see if you like it. I almost, I always, I, op I open up the cheeks sometimes when the spray. I goes always in. open up the cheeks. Oh yeah, it's so good. And then you use kind of your nuts as a backboard. Makes, That's what I well, love. Well, my nuts are shallow, so it doesn't work. But. Not long enough. Anyway, all right. <laughs> <laughs> the Hello Tushy Bidet washes your bum with fresh water, uh, and it's it's better than uh, toilet paper, and it's simply you, you spray just, and pat dry. Yeah, it attaches to your existing toilet. That's right. It cuts down your TP use by eighty percent, saving money and paper waste. Join the millions of. Happy Hello Tushy customers right now who take care of their U logs the dignified way. Give the gift of a clean bum to yourself or loved ones this holiday season. Get 10% off plus free shipping right now at hellotushy.com slash bad friends. Tag us and at Hello Tushy on social media so we can celebrate your clean bum. That's right. That's hellotushy.com slash bad friends for 10% off and free ship. The next guy coming to the stage is an old friend of ours. V yeah, one of our one of our closest, most favorite performers, comedians. Yeah. Beyond, he, like the most talented podcaster we know. Oh, so shut the fuck up. He's, he could be a handsome guy, but he ate so much frijole. Uh-oh. That he became rotund. But he's a very good comic, and he's going to be performing tonight where? At the fucking arena. At the fucking arena, guys. No condom. No condom. All right, I'll hurry. Stop going Tom back. Segura, everybody! Clap Tom Segura! For Tom Segura! Open up this podcast with an apology. Take the mic. Okay. Take the mic. Take the mic. Is it? Yeah. Is it because of our phone call? 
Yes. Yeah, so you called me on the phone a couple of weeks ago yeah. on your show live, right? Yep. And I called you a fat, ugly, Peruvian guy. You did. And it got a really big laugh from your audience. Mm. <laughs> but I also want to formally apologize because I was rude. Well, thanks, man. That's very grown up of you. Thank you. You can say something bad about me right now in front of all these people. <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? That's Korean. Oh, I'll tell you this. I thought you spoke Korean. No, I'm white. Was I have that Korean? Do it again. Naneng tang sini chu kile palanida. That sounds Spanish. That doesn't sound fucking That's Korean I, at all. I speak Spanish, so I have a Spanish pronunciation, but it's fucking Korean. Open your goddamn ears up. Does anybody speak Korean in here? Are there any Koreans in here? Oh, in the back. What did that say? Doesn't know. Okay, yeah. how about uh, non en tung are you, are you looking it up, asshole? Yeah, I looked it up. Of course I looked it up. Right, how about this? I'll teach you Korean. Wait, wait, let me tell you one. All right, tell me one. Non en tung tung hala. No, 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 ha, ha. He just called me the N-word in yeah, Korean. Yeah. How dare you, you fucking asshole. Don't mind him, okay? Stop pointing at the black guy. All right, sorry. Why are I you like doing him. that? I, I, I should stop, I'll stop? Yes, yeah, stop. I apologize, I'll stop. Point at any other people. A white guy. Fine. With Fine. titties. I like your titties, sir. I accept your half-assed apology. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to so, know what I said in Korean? I don't know what you would you say. It really didn't sound familiar at all. No, no. The first thing was I hope you die. <laughs> hope you die. Okay, okay. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> what was the second one? You are fat. You are fat. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I'll teach you one right now. Okay. okay. I teach everyone. Here's, here's <laughs> yeah. yeah there's take other this people here too. Yeah. Boji mashiso. Boji. Let's say it together. One, two, three. Boji mashiso. Pussy is delicious. All right. <laughs> I'll teach you another one. Okay. Not gochu jokome. One, two, three. Not gochu jokome. I have a very small penis. Hey. But let me tell you something. It's cute as fuck. No, it's not. Yes, it would. And if it was a Pokemon character, it'd be one of the leads. Like he'd be like third in line. I don't know how Pokemon works. I don't think that's how it works. I don't know why I'm standing. I'll sit back. Sit down. Down. Bob, okay. what are your dimensions? Have you gone over this already? <laughs> like a like a dresser. He's like a dresser drawer. No, I meant of your penis. No. no. Oh. Not the, your yeah. How oh, have you dead? ever seen it? Uh, show him. I'll show, show you now. Well, I mean No, I'll I'll turn my back. I'll turn my back. I'll yeah, turn my back. Yeah, sure, turn your back and show him. I'm a Christian, like I said. All right. Show him. Don't make sure no one else sees. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. How weird is that? That was one of the worst experiences of my life. <laughs> yeah. So many colors, huh? There are a lot of colors. Yeah, there's How three dark. colors. I see why you keep looking at the black guy. You got anything to spare? Yeah. This guy's. Oh not, his, fuck you, bro. Hey, hey, hey! Why? Don't. Why You're so gonna many, hit me the head? Like that. What, are, his, his what nut, are all the colors about? Well, his nuts are very, very dark. Mine? Yes. Thank you. It's like you dipped them in mud, is what it looks like. It's not healthy. It's very it's not? weird. And his penis is one color at the base, and then it goes like white in the middle, and then it gets dark again at the yeah. top. Yeah, you have a really good memory of it. <laughs> it's uh, it's there forever. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're gonna have it too. Now they, they're actually they look like boba. Yeah, and it's actually I got. I'll be honest with you, it's bigger than I thought it was gonna be. No. Yeah. Fuck yeah, dude. Yeah. Friends for life. It was bigger than he thought. Yeah, but he thought it was a micro penis, so. Bigger than this is that, and that's fine. That's enough. It's a little now, bit bigger. Oh, is your, I bet your tongue game is amazing, right? Bo, you want to see? Okay. This one you don't have to stand up for. I don't know why guys do this, but I'm going to do it. Oh, boy. Okay. Is that, is that wrong? Uh, go ahead. <laughs> so I do this. I always say hello. Yeah. You want me to hold the mic so while you do I'm it? Gonna, so I'm going to open it, right? Yeah. Hello. Hello. And then the little click gives me a little wink. Like that? Yeah. And what? What? I Let's make see the how noise. long you can do it for. That's One. it. That's it. No, see how long. That was the time limit. Let's see how long. One, All right. two, All right. three, go. <laughs> pretty good. That was pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Is your asshole moist? <laughs> a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Good. Thank you. That Imagine. 
Imagine people that just came to this resort that are walking by <laughs> yeah. for a family vacation. They see some little fat Korean They're like, guy. They're like, this is a... <laughs> what a it's fucking a... night. What a nightmare. It's all inclusive. Do <laughs> you not pay more? Is this yours? Uh, no, that's yours. Okay. That's yours. Uh, Tom, thank you so much for doing this. We know you're playing the show tonight. Round this round means a lot. Yeah. Thank you. Talk to God, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I love when you blush. It's so cute. Tom, we miss you in LA and you abandoned us for Austin. We really are a little upset about it. Are I'll you, be back. Are, but you, check you, it out. You'll be back for real? Sure. Really? I mean, I made a bet with some comics. I yeah. said a year. You'll you think make, I'll move back? I think you'll back, move back in about eight months. Oh, no, definitely not. Why? Because. I know, but we miss you. No, I miss you guys too. Dude, you have, you, we, you have more fucking f- friends in LA than fucking Austin. Hey, hey, hey. Why? Uh, because, no, fuck you. Hey. Because Joe Rogan, because Joe fucking Rogan. Hey, went hey, out hey, there. hey, 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 hey. He's here somewhere. Relax. <laughs> Where's that head of his? I don't know. Uh, it's so thick. So do, you, uh, do you still feel like that wave is coming? <laughs> what do you say? The wave. Do you feel like the wave is coming? To Austin, you mean? No, no. no to, like, when I was leaving LA, you're like, you don't feel that wave? <laughs> Did I say that? To, yeah, you said that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a wave coming, bud. Is it? Yeah. You, you're going to miss out. I think I've seen the comedy store lineups. So I think I'm pretty good on the wave. <laughs> because you guys fucking moved out. Yeah. <laughs> when Rogan and everyone and Joey Diaz and everyone moved out of LA, right? Yeah. The comedy scene got weaker. It got a little weak. So it's your fault. It's your fucking fault. Man, there's a new scene, and it's fucking in, outside of Cancun. So This is the scene. Yeah. This is the scene. Yeah. So since you're living in Austin, do you think, because the comedy community there is so tight-knit, <laughs> do, you think, do you think you could do Tony Hinchcliffe's monologue for how he brought up that Asian guy and do it for Bobby? <laughs> do you think you could do the exact same thing? Let's try it. Let's try it. it it's... <laughs> How about, should I be Tony Hinchcliffe? Because I have to say yes. the I'll be you. I'll be you and you be Tony Hinchcliffe. Right, you be what Tony. Did he, what did he say exactly? I'll be the, cur- I'll what, be the Asian guy. What did he guy. say exactly? Okay, okay. All right, no, no, no. So I get off stage. So this is how it went. You, oh, you have to bring me up. You no, you, you're, to- you're, to- you're Tony. I, I know, you- but you're bringing me up and then I t- grab All the right. mic. All right. All right, so I'm the Asian guy and I'm killing. And, uh, and I'm like... All right, thank you so much. And he doesn't even have an accent or anything, does he? No, he's like, thank you so much. Uh, appreciate you guys. That's my time. Tony Hinchcliffe, everyone. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Tony, thank you, Tony. Appreciate you, man. I killed on the show. Thank you. Or time for the f- gooch chink. Oh, my God. Is, is that what he said? I don't know, but that sounded so bad. <laughs> I know. That sounded I, so bad. Even I, coming from you, it sounded right. bad. How about, what, one more time for the yellow monkey? Oh my God. Is that bad? I, I gotta wrong. tell you something. What? It doesn't feel wrong. Whatever you're doing doesn't feel yeah, wrong. Yeah, it feels right. <laughs> all right. Yeah. I like this. I'm just glad we're getting it on tape. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that whole exchange was so racist. It was tough. Yeah. Was anybody offended? Who was offended? Anybody? That guy. Uh, one guy. Uh, go apologize, Bob. Sir, come over here. Come here, you're offended. Come over here, asshole. Are you offended? Calls him an asshole. What? I'm not going to. Uh oh. What's happening? Give him a kiss. I'm so sorry. Give him a kiss. 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 There we go. <laughs> I just came inside him. <laughs> so wet. That's what he said. It was so, so wet. wet. Yeah. My little moist noodle. Oh. It oh, get... man. <laughs> what, what, what? Nothing. Everything's good. <laughs> <laughs> Tom. No, I do. Mi- I, listen, I miss LA. I do miss LA. We miss the shit out of you. We, we wish you would come back. But also, we're happy that you guys are enjoying life out there. Yeah. I re- honestly, I think it's fucking, it's great. It's it, fun. Is, is there comedy there for real? Is it picked up or no? Well, there's shows all the time. I mean, there's not like the- Are you uh, doing shows? I've been on the road a lot. So. Yeah, you're not doing shows. I've, did a, I've done shows in, in Austin, but I haven't done like weekly shows because I've been gone. Okay. Are, you're leaving tonight after the show. Yeah. What kind of plane are you flying on? Uh, fucking, I don't know what it's called. What is it called? American uh, it, it, 2211. It it's just yours? Are you not leaving on a private plane? No. no fuck no. 
Hey. hey. Do you guys want to play Fuck, Mary Kill? Yeah. Okay, so uh, out of us three, right, who you would have to fuck, Mary or Kill? What's the matter? I just know what you're doing. You don't like this game? No, I love it. Uh, dude, in improv, you say yes and. You can't uh, yes, go. yes, I love it. Do you guys want to play, I said? They do. <laughs> Scumbag. All right, go ahead. Let's play just three people. Ugh. Okay? Ugh. Oh, sir? Yeah. yeah. We'll get back okay. to back. What the right. fuck, bro? Oh, wow. Well, that, well, that's not going to help that us. That was aggressive, bro. <laughs> You're just like... Oh, man. This is, this is a bad look. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, what's your name? Fletch? Come closer because the mic. Is your name Fletch? Yeah. That's, that's a, a good great name. fucking name. I love that Who movie. would you fuck, marry, or kill between us three? I'd fuck Bobby because he's the most ladylike. Most ladylike, yes. Clutch. Fletch. Fletch. The fucking man. It is, that's true. Uh, I'd have to marry Tom for the money. Yeah. He is rich. That's very smart. But I love you, Santino. He's black. I love you, too. Yeah. What do you say that again? He's Fletch, not black! Fletch, say it again. Santino's black. So, turn, to, you turn to the audience and say it in the mic. Fletch, can you say it in the mic for me? Say it, say it. Santino's black. Thank you. All right. Thank you, fam. Hey. That means so Fuck much you. to me. Hey. It's unbelievable. Hey, don't flick off my black friend. Don't do that. Santino. Yeah, How did you get that? Lady huh? How did you get that? Ah, it's just like they feel me. There's a thing. There's a thing. Is it because let's do you're one more. A... You want to do one more? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Let's do one more. Why not, yeah. huh? Hey, the guy with the titties. Oh, yeah, come on. Ask, ask a girl. Yeah. Oh, ask a girl. That's no, right. Get well, the fuck out of here. Oh, my God, Bob. So mean. So oh, mean. All right. My bad. All right. I have my friend. You want to meet my friend? Get that. Get, there's a girl right there that's asking, Bob. Get that woman right there. What girl? Right there in the white. Right there. She's right there. Yeah, right come, there. come, please. Yeah, let her do it. Yes! All right. Yeah, come, come, no, come, come over here. Fuck, marry, or kill. Okay. Bobby, I love you, but um, I have to kill you. I'm so sorry. Oh, yes. I'm going to fuck Andrew because he is black. Yes! And that is absolutely yes! true, and I second yes! that. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Oh, and I'm gonna marry Tom because he got business. He got yeah, money, baby. and he knows what's up. And that's yes. good. <laughs> what's your name? What's your name? My name is Erica. Erica, give it up for Erica, Thank this you. fucking queen, right, fucking queen. Erica, do you want to get on the wow. stage and, and and give and do a spin move and show yourself off? And there's Erica yeah. and this motherfucker. Erica and this motherfucker. Erica, are you single? Guys, single, single. Beep 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 beep. Brilliant, brilliant woman. Wow. Abs love her. You nailed it, man. That's what I, you want. Two for two? Yep. Now let's get someone that's t typically out of the, like the out of the pocket of our fan base. Who, who's, who's above 50? Who's above 50 that's here? 50 or 60? Uh, get, get that woman up here, please. Yeah. This is great. This isn't our <laughs> usual fan base. Are we still, are we still saying, playing the same game? We're playing the same game. Go oh, up there. All right. I want to hear what the, and let her on stage and let her face the audience. Look at that swag when she comes up. Damn. Bobby. All right. Come on stage and you can face the crowd and Bobby ask her. Yeah, come come right here. Help her on the stage. What's your name? Put your hand Karen. out. What? Karen. Karen. Yes. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. So nervous. Um, Karen, so we do fuck You're Mary kill. Which one would you fuck, Mary or kill? Fuck him. God damn it, this is great. This is making my fucking year. Oh my God. You don't know what this means to be, you guys. Go ahead. Marry him. <laughs> Thank you, Karen. Give it up for Karen, that beautiful, beautiful woman hey. there. Oh. God damn it. Man, this is the best show we've ever done. Santino. Yeah, I feel good. That's really the plug you want right there, man. God, I feel so good right now. And I love <laughs> You don't feel good, dude. I love how much it hurts him. God damn. Say what you want to say, Bob. Say it. Well, first of all, I'm 50. 
You're 37? 38. Okay, 38. That has nothing to do with it. Age has everything to do with you. When you're no, 50, you're going to go ahead and Clint Eastwood. <laughs> I, dude, I just got stability from everybody. <laughs> 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 Fucking. Yeah, but what worst. does that really say? These two psychopath nutbags, they're like, this one seems like he's got his shit together. Yeah, I'll, I'll like, marry this Yeah, human. this guy will bring me coffee. <laughs> Fuck you, all right? Raise your hand if you want to fuck Tom. Raise your hand if you like. Look at all these people that want to fuck you, Tom. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Raise your hand if you want to fuck Bobby. Why are these guys standing that up? That guy is very excited to fuck you. That That's would the be... same guy that ate the worm. That, that guy. Those, are, those guys are the Irish kids. Are that the Irish two? That, yeah. These guys came here from Ireland. Look at these scumbags. I love these fucking guys. They came, they flew here from Ireland. Dude, imagine fucking Bob. That's such a ride. <laughs> oh my God. Imagine what? Just fucking, fucking you. you. It'd be so wild. Dude. Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I happen to feel like, because I have a mirror by my bed. Why? To watch my moves. Oh my God. Right? So every once in a while, I'll, in my peripheral. Yeah. Is that how you say it? In my periphery, yeah. Peripheral? Per in my peripheral? Yes. I can see my moves and I can say, that it's pretty fucking sexy. All right, let me see. No. Oh, no, 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 no. no, no. Oh, oh, he, oh, he's talking to her. Oh, my God, oh. Bert. Oh, he spits. Oh. oh, he spits right on her. All right, then he uh, gets down in Crouching Panda. Crouching Panda. Licky, licky. Licky, licky. As he... <laughs> Oof. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> All right, sit down, Liu Kang. Cut All it right. out. Buffy! Buffy! Hey, man. Buffy has changed my life at night because I told Bob I sweat a lot when I sleep and I roll around and I get too hot. And Buffy, no more night sweats for your boy. Dude, I haven't had night sweats in years since I've used a Buffy. Seriously. In fact, the pores of my body have closed up permanently. So they're clogged. Yeah. That's a good thing. Uh, the Breeze is a comforter made entirely from 100% eucalyptus fiber to regulate temperature and keep you cool. We've talked about Buffy on the oh, show before. God, and look, it. it's it's 100% plant-based design. It's breathable. It keeps you comfy at night. Uh, eucalyptus fabric inside and out. Softer than cotton. Earth-friendly. Well, when you gave me one, I was like, um, what what the hell is this? And yeah, you're like, you, you no trust idea. me. And I literally use it on my bed now, and it's so there's so much. It's breathable. Yeah, it does. You don't feel like you're yeah. getting swallowed up. It's hypoallergenic and it's high threat. Soft, count, softer than cotton, dust. naturally soothes the skin. Cruelty free, baby. Yeah, Why yeah. not choose 100% plant based bedding that's better for you and the planet that you're on? That's right. You can try a comforter on your own bed for free. And if you don't love it, return it to no cost. You're not gonna, but you can. Yeah. For twenty dollars off your Buffy comforter, visit Buffy.co and enter Bad Friends. That's twenty dollars off your Buffy comforter when you visit Buffy.co and enter the code Bad, Bad Friends. Friends. Warby, Warby Parker. Parker. They were founded with a rebellious spirit and a lofty goal to create boutique quality eyewear at a revolutionary price point, offering eyeglasses, sunglasses, contact lessons, eye exams. Warby Parker's committed to providing exceptional vision care. And in stores as well as online. So. Glasses start at ninety five dollars, including prescription lenses. That's incredible. They, uh, you can try for free. People, you, if you're out there and you know, if you're if you're someone that has eyeglasses, you've heard of Warby Parker. Um, they make very high quality boutique style glasses. They, and they seem don't cost really a ton of money. expensive when you yeah, look at them. Yeah, they look like they're super pricey. Because the quality is there. Don't let your FSA or HSA dollars go to waste. Put them to good use on Warby Parker prescription glasses, prescription sunglasses, contact lenses, and eye exams. So we have, I have Warby Parker uh, glasses. I have sunglasses and they fit so snug to my weird shaped head. You know that. Wait, you is that the pair that I head. see you in sometimes? Yes, that's oh, what wow, I wear. Oh, wow, that's yes. really good. And then, you know, you make fun of my weird shaped head, but they fit my weird shaped head. Um, and all you have to do the physics, is- The physics involved in that. Okay, well, it works. They okay. figured it out. Warby did the right job. All right. I don't know if Warby or Parker did it, but they both figured it okay. out. <laughs> all right. But Warby Parker, um, they look cool. The colors are really pretty. Uh, they're well constructed and they're super durable, which I love. And also, they don't cost me an arm and a leg. Wow. So go to warbyparker.com slash badfriends and try this out for free yourself at home. Yeah, and you know what? You can try five pairs of glasses at home for free at warbyparker.com slash badfriends. Five pairs of glasses at home for free at warbyparker.com slash badfriends. All right? My lord. Unbelievable. I get it now. I get it. <laughs> you got yeah. it? I got it now. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to okay. repoll the fuck Mary kills? Because <laughs> that was pretty good. <laughs> that was good. 
Raise your hand if, if, anybody, if that changed your mind about what your vote was before. In the back, it changed our minds. One guy, one yeah, guy, changed, one guy now is into it. <laughs> you saw guys. the moves, you saw it with your eyes. <laughs> Fuck yeah, bro. All right, would you be a top or a bottom? I'm generally a bottom, but I could do top. <laughs> you could top? I've done it before. I don't think you're, I don't know. I think you're bottom. You're no, bottom I'm bottom 90% of the time, but I can do top play. How, for how long? What do you mean far along? You don't last long on top, do you? 15 minutes. Is that your window? Yeah. Really? Yeah. How about you? How about me what? (laughs) (laughs) 15 is actually pretty good. How about you? Do you you, you fuck strong? I fuck real, real, real strong. (laughs) You do? Please give me this example. I gave you a fucking example. You give me an example. Uh, oh my god I, I gotta get into the scene so I'm gonna be at my makeup table I'm gonna take the makeup off alright alright ready so and I just got home I just got home from a long day at the office That was aggressive, bro. Dude, I might press charges. I know, but was it good? That was really good. It was really good. Oh, fuck, that was really good. I want to take two seconds right now and apologize to Tom. I am sorry, Tom. (laughs) I'm so sorry, Tom. Sorry, Tom. Uh, That's all good. We are sorry. I'm so sorry, Tom. This is really not okay for us to do this to you. We're really sorry. uh, Let me tell you, who's gonna go to Tom's show tonight? All these people. All right, give the proof some, is in the pudding. Give him some space. Very exciting. Give him some space. Okay, yeah. Sorry, Tom. Sorry, Tom. No, that was, uh, I, honestly, I really enjoyed both of your moves. Thank you. Yeah. Is there a chance that you'd like to show off your fuckery skills? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm recovering from injuries still. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. Yeah. I mean, we could both play the women. There's two women. <laughs> 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 I think that's a hard no. It's a hard no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Let's and I get on. it. Let's and move on. I but I liked it. it. I liked watching your show. It was very good. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Are you still doing the podcast with the, the Bart? Yeah. Does he fly every week to Austin, or you come back? Uh, it's all in Austin. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Is it, that's is that that's got to be tough schedule? No. I mean, we record a few at a time. So yeah, you yeah. knock him out. Yeah, yeah. It is good to see you guys still working it out. We're Bad Friends is about to be over after the after Cancun. Really? This is the last show. Yeah, you, you, you fucked me way too hard. I fucked you too hard. On hey, stage. is it fun to work with him? <laughs> <laughs> is it fun to work with me? Be honest. Uh, all right, you want a real honest? Yes, be, I'm yes. completely honest. Sometimes it's not about comedy. Sometimes we talk about real stuff. All right, I'll give you the most honest answer that, I've, that I'm being very genuine. Uh, in my... 16 years of doing stand-up and comedy and television or whatever. Uh, it's the most fun that I've ever had in my entire career. Wow. By far. Yeah, not even close. It's not even close. I'm serious. It's the most fun I've ever had in my entire life. <laughs> it's, we get to be fucking... We get to be the little children that we it's are. It's my turn. Huh? It's my turn. All right, thanks for letting me really hash it all out there. He wasn't done, Bob. No, no, but to him I was. When is it my turn? It's your turn, Bob. You want to go up thank front? You. Yeah, thank he you. wants to go up front. Thank you. Thank Bob, you, how said. do you feel about this? thank you. All right. About 15 years ago, I saw Andrew Santino perform in the original room at the Comedy Store. And when he asked me 
to do the podcast, literally, uh, it was like I was a, a Native American and someone littered. <laughs> Tears dripping out of my eyes. And it's just, thank you, Jesus, so much for introducing Andrew into my life. He's the greatest thing in the whole world. Give Andrew Santino a round of applause. What a great guy. He changed my life. He changed my life. Thanks, well, Bob. I can, uh, I can see why you guys are going to end things soon. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's been fucking, it's been an amazing little ride that we I get mean, do you, do. do you fight with Bird ever? Because we fight all the time. We fight constantly. You we guys never, never fight. fight. We never fight. Wow. A- about anything. Not that I can recall. Yeah, I you know what? I, I can't see ever being in a spat with you. I mean, I don't fight a lot, so. No, no. but I mean, like, you guys, do you guys ever get into, like, little, where it's like, you know what it is for us? It's like coordination, where, like, we're both busy, we're doing things, and it's like, it's hard for us to meet, and so we fight about scheduling is a nightmare. Yeah, He's, I mean, not, not really. No. I mean, no, I mean, you know, when he went to Serbia to shoot that movie, that was uh, obviously really challenging to bring people in to fill all the time yeah. he was going to be gone but i just go like all right you're shooting a movie so see how yeah. easy we need to be nicer to each other because you no are... see you now see, right away no no because... no right away you're accusing right away because you you don't lead with you okay but can i get one thing off my chest okay say and then... i say i instead of you try go ahead I... go say, say i instead of you i am i yeah you no <laughs> replace you with i i will not I, you, right? No. You are a rageaholic. No. And very difficult to work with because you get angry a lot. Who See, make, right? There, look, who, look, at, look, look, at, look at his face. Who makes me angry? <laughs> yeah. So it's your fault. I know, but I just need a little bit more p- compassion from you. No. Why? Because you don't get it. You're just... Can you guys give us a minute? <laughs> <laughs> this is good. I really like this. <laughs> So why does he get so upset with you? Because I don't show up on time. Sometimes, sometimes I'm not wearing socks. It bothers him. Or he just like won't answer texts about when we're supposed to be doing a thing. Oh yeah. yeah or, stuff like that. but that's or, reasonable, right? Or we're supposed to go to Universal Studios to shoot a bit for the show. And then I show up and he's not there. Yeah, I'm in New York shooting something. What are you shooting in New York that's more important than fucking... Don't, don't, what don't are you do. shooting in New York that's more important than Bad Friends? Don't fucking do this right now. What are you shooting in New York that's more important than Bad Friends? I'm shooting a TV what show! You, what? What? I'm on Sex in the City! Is it more important than Bad Friends? No. No. But still cool. Yeah, it's But wait, neat. you didn't tell him you were not going to be there? What? Did you tell him you were yes, not... Yes, I tell him before and everything, right? He just gets Tom, angry. Tom, Tom. Did he tell me? No, George. George was like, George's like, uh, Andrew, um, uh, very nervous. Uh, Bobby's not gonna be there. But it's fine. Let's, I just get hung out to dry. Let's do more fucking stuff. All right, more fucking <laughs> stuff. We don't have any more fuck. We're not doing any more fucking stuff. I don't, I don't want to do any more. I think the Cancun people are not happy about it. Wait, are they mad because I showed my butthole? Yeah. Are you being real? No. Okay. It doesn't matter. Uh, Bobby, Bobby gave, Bobby's been giving away money to the staff here. I don't know if the staff wants to make some money. Bobby gave a guy $40 to drive us from the hotel next door to right here in a golf cart. So if anybody wants to make a quick couple thousand, Bobby's handed out money. $40. We went 17 feet. I said, you just have to tip him like five bucks. $40. Generous. Little too much. Generous. Do you give big tips? Are you always tipping big? What? You tip I'm a big? really good tipper. Yeah. Are you a good tipper? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. In fact, you know what I'll do? You know what I'll do? One time, I, I, I saw Sebastian Monoscalco. Yeah. And he's wearing these ugly Italian shoes. They were leather. Yeah. But you, you, know, you know how ninja shoes, they have that little gap? Yeah. Like so it was a dress toe. shoe, but they had that little ninja gap between the toe and the rest of the fucking... Yeah. I go, I'll give you 200 bucks. I'm going to buy them from you. So I gave him 200 bucks. He gave me his shoes. And I threw him in the dumpster. <laughs> I like so that. So I do stuff like that too. What were you doing with my shoes? Is there a staff? Let's, you know what's so funny? Uh, I think, do you have any money in your pocket right now? I do. Yeah, why? Let's give it away to a staff member. Well, you made me promise you one thing in the elevator, and what was it? 
Not give away my not shirt. Not give away your shirt. All right, so, my cash is in there, I'll go get it. Okay, go get your cash and give it away to somebody. Yeah. That, that woman right there? Yeah. She has no idea why they're pointing at her. This is... By the way, she thinks this is like insurrection. She's like, no, no, no. All these white tourists like, arr, arr. What a dangerous thing to do. All right, Bob. Bob, this lady right here has been serving this entire row. Give your money to her, please. Eh... Uh... Eh, señorita. Señorita. El gordo aquí. Very nice. Este huevón. Very nice. Very nice, Bob. Nice. All right, sit down. It was very nice. Bobby is very generous and always has been. A generous, beautiful man. That was really nice. That was very sweet. What was that? Three bucks? What'd you give her? <laughs> let me ask you something. <laughs> Tom, let me ask you something. Okay. Because him and I talk about this all the time. About like, you prefer podcasting and doing stand-up. Right. But the acting stuff, I, you're a good actor. I saw you in that one horror movie. I really liked you in it. Okay. And I really did. I, I swear to God, I love that movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right. So he's a good actor, but you prefer to do the other stuff. Whereas Andrew and I really like acting. I don't know why. We, do you guys hate the fact that we? Uh, what? I, we, yeah, but we don't. I don't prefer it. I just we like it. I know, but it's like a lot of guys like Joe Rogan and stuff. They kind of yell at us. Joe's a bully. Yeah, and and Joe Rogan will go. Oh, dude, hey, dude, Lee, Bobby, what? Do whatever you want to do. Okay. Whatever makes you happy, right? That's what I've been doing. Yeah, I've been doing what makes me happy. <laughs> <laughs> so that's good. Yeah, I mean, I like I like the acting too. I do. Yeah, yeah. I think you're a good actor. Thanks, man. You all about me? <laughs> okay. How, do you th are you gonna still be able to carry on all these other shows, or are you just gonna do YMH? Like, are you still do Tom Talks and Espanol? Are you gonna do? Well, those I just do like uh, honestly, I just do them because I enjoy doing them. Yeah. Like, so the stuff that has like full ad schedules, you can you you have to right like you yeah. do. So we do your mom's house, two bears, Drew's show. Uh, Christina's show, and then we have a show that we signed that we ha we can't announce yet, but like that'll be a Wait, new Wait, you show. have somebody new? Yeah. Oh, somebody new. Can we, let's just guess. Who do you think is signed that that's Oh yeah, new? guess, guess. All right, who do you think is new that they signed to, their, to the YMH network to podcast? I don't know what's going on. Do you not know what we're talking about, buddy? No. Okay, that's all right. Explain it to me. Do you want to sit this one out? Or no, 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 I want to explain it to me. So, so Tom Segura? Yeah, I know. He does a thing. Uh, your mom's house is like. YMA. Yeah, no, no. Just get to the point. Yeah. Well, they have a bunch of different shows on there. Yeah. Yeah. And so they added someone new to this late that they're going to announce soon. We're going to guess who they added to their podcast world. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. So go ahead. All right. So a comedian that is added to your podcast world. Okay. Added to the podcast world. Yes. That's a part of your family now. Well, there will be. Okay. Yeah. Um, let's Hannah go. Gadsby. I know who. How about that little, that little, that little chubby gay kid that we used to live in LA, but now he lives in Austin. Oh, 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 you're What's talking about um, uh, uh, the uh, Dylan, 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 he used to work at the comedy store. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he you has no him? idea who that is. I don't know. No. All right, give me a guess. I, just, I hate this game. Go ahead. Um, Ken Jong? No, but it is a notable person, so it's a good guess. It is what? A notable person. Oh. Is it Asian? Fuck no. No, that's disgusting. Yeah. No. There can only be one. Thank you. Yeah, it's you. What? I'm no. your favorite Asian. You're what? Am I your, your favorite Asian? For sure. 100%. Well, no, more than Ken Jeong? Yes. Okay. But not more than Ali Wong. Ali Wong does. Yeah. Oh, no. Really? No, yeah. no, no, no. No. Fuck face. Really? Hey, 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 hey be nice. I am before. Was she ahead of me? Was she. What? Was she what? Is she ahead of me in your eyes? Like, do I like her more? More than me. I like her much more than you, but <laughs> but you're my like you're right, you're right there. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Where am I in your white guy fucking hierarchy? Well, you're not white. You're Hispanic, correct? Okay. Where am I in your? Uh, so for number one, probably Carlos Mencia. <laughs> <laughs> number one for sure. Okay. Number two, um, Paul Rodriguez. Okay. For Ooh, sure. Yeah. George Lopez, for sure. Ooh. Felipe. Yeah, Jesus Trail, for sure. Felipe uh, Esparza. Way ahead of you. Way ahead of you. Uh, Gabriel. Gabriel Iglesias. Iglesias. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's four people. Jesus Trejo? Five. Yeah, that's five people. Jesus Trejo? Yeah, Jesus, I already said it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, you're in my top three Hispanic people. Really? Yeah. Thanks, man. You're what welcome. do I rank in your whites? In terms of white people? Yeah, for your whites. You're probably number one in my list right now, man. Really? Whoa! I, bro, bro, I'll tell you why. Because I, I, you guys don't know this, but I'm going through a hard time. I, I'm always going through a hard time. Yeah. And you've been really helpful, dude. I love you. I love you. To be honest. All right. Wait a minute. Imagine, where, imagine, where, imagine if I got canceled for that. Oh, they're like, you where, can't where does he sit in your Asian scale? Pretty high up there. <laughs> yeah. I think Bobby is. Well, I separated by so Korean. He is top Korean. Top Korean. But there are some other Japanese and Chinese that really take you, the name. Cake. Me one Japanese. Uh, uh, Roku. Oh, uh, oh, oh, oh. Roku Sudoku. There's no Roku Sudoku. You've never seen Roku Sudoku. He rips. <laughs> There's no Roku Sudoku. He is one of the funniest dudes I've ever seen Roku in my Sudoku? life. Roku Sudoku? Do you know? You guys know the comedian Roku Sudoku? Yeah. See, he rips. Yes. He's, He's so good. Uh, yeah, yeah. He's yeah. good. He's good. Give me another Asian guy that's better. Uh, the chi There's a Chinese guy. The Ronnie Chang. Ronnie Chang. Yeah. Ronnie Chang. He's very funny. Very funny. Yeah. And also likable. Very likable. You know. There's a couple, there's a couple, but you're the top Korean by okay, far. Okay. Noodle Kadoodle, do you know Noodle Kadoodle? <laughs> She's good. You're my best, you're my best <laughs> Korean by or, far. Okay, okay. All right, so how about this? Tom has almost little time left because he's got to, uh, you know, sell out a fucking arena next door. So, do they have that mo, they have that, um, they have that crowd mic that they can, do you guys have that crowd mic? Do we have the crowd mic so we can get a qu questions from the crowd, George? All get right. a couple questions from the crowd. Okay. Go ahead. Let's go. Tom, big fan. Thanks. Um, so I just wanted uh, to. Know, we're here too, you know? <laughs> Jesus. Ooh. Shit. I wanted to. I'm what a big fan. I watch <laughs> every single podcast, I swear to God. Okay. So I wanted to know with all this uh, climate and the experience that you've had in Cancun, um, what kind of glove would you uh, recommend for this? <laughs> it's a really good. And also, where's the glove? So really, those are both, those are good questions. I, I would say that number one, a beach glove is what I would wear in this. Oh, beach gloves. Yeah, like something you can shovel with. You can also like reach into the water and you can knock the sand off of it. The sand doesn't stick to it as much. Yeah. So it's more like a latex, but they're specifically either beach gloves. Do you own beach gloves? Of course. And then right. the reason I'm not wearing a glove is because customs, of course, took customs. them from me. Yeah. They fucking always, customs. They take your gloves. All right, that guy. Thank go you ahead. for that question, though. Good, great question. Tom, I have two questions. First of all, how good is that up there to recreate Good Morning Julia? That is a fantastic background <laughs> for Good Morning Julia. A real cool guy atmosphere. Yes. And then, second of all, if you could bring anybody back from the dead, why would you pick Fed Smoker? <laughs> That's a, that's a really impressive question. Do you want me to break it down for you? <laughs> no. <laughs> I understand. You understood that? Oh, man. Fed Smoker, I mean, you know, you're Irish, but you understand that he represents all Americans, and um, he was fighting to, to keep the fucking peace and to push out all the fake bad cops that were stealing and, and corrupt. Right. And you know, it's like there's only one fucking JFK and there's only one Herc News Fed smoker. So, yep. you know, long live the meth king. <laughs> all right, Tom, I'm also a big fan. Bobby or Andrew, who do you like more and why? Oh, who do you like more out of us? Yeah, I mean, that's an aggressive question. It's Andrew and I'll tell you why. <laughs> um, he answers me when I text, when I call. He doesn't just leave me hanging. He wakes up before 4 p.m., you know. But you, but, do, but you do love like, Bobby. But like you said, number one Korean. Number one. Doesn't that feel good? Bob? I like you even more than Grandma Kim, and she makes the best bulgogi and the best kalbi and the best uh, sundobu. 
and I put you ahead of her, and you've never even fucking cooked for me. So that's huge. You're the most rockin' Korean I know. Let's move on. Uh, <laughs> All right, look, is that George interviewing George? Yes. It's two oh. fucking white nerds together. This is awesome. He's one of the most handsome guys I've All seen right, here so far. Uh, this question is for Daddy Lalagon. Uh, so the last place my mother was seen uh, about two years ago was at a Garth Brooks concert, and we haven't seen her since. Do you think I'll ever get closure? Of course not. <laughs> Thank you. She's buried somewhere in Oklahoma, pal. <laughs> I'm sorry to navigate away from bad friends, but Tom, has Christina navigated towards your scrum at all? Have you gotten any scrum licking? Let's scrum it up, Christina. She's disappointed me in that regard in every way. Um, you know, I've been trying things, yeah. working out more, eating clean, you waxing look, my ass. You look very good, by the way. I'm Thanks, thank genuine. you. You do look um, very good. After steve show the other day, I know a lot of buttholes are hair free, so I want to see yours as well. All right, lady, he's married, so fucking uh, land the plane a little bit. My, uh, my butthole is not hair free, <laughs> and it is not appetizing, I admit that. <laughs> I, would not, I would not eat my own ass. I uh, wouldn't eat your ass. No, you wouldn't. I just wouldn't. But what if you loved me? No. Nope. Yeah. That's where you poop out of. I wouldn't do it. Guys poop. How much money? Like, how much bucks. money would you offer me to eat your butthole? 300 bucks. No. Oh, uh, no. 500? Yeah. Grand. A grand? Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Have you had your butt eaten? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah? My butt's good. No, you've had your, your ass eaten before. It's not good. It's not, a, it's not a fresh product. But it's been done? Like yesterday when I, well, two days ago when I showed you my poo. Oh. Wait. I came to the door. Oh. I knocked on the door because we're supposed to go do something together. Yeah. And there's no answer. And so I knock harder and then he goes, bathroom. And I said, come on, I want to clean the room. And then he goes, go away. And I said, you want me to suck your little beautiful pee-pee? <laughs> yeah. And then he gets up off the toilet. I can hear him get up off the toilet, because when he gets up, it's like with The fucking weight of the toilet like eased up. A little suction action. And he fucking, who was that? That was insane. Yeah. His royal blackness in the bed. God is a what black man. God is a black man. It, it's Morpheus. Look at this. I, I, you I, are the one. Oh my oh, God. Oh fuck. Wow. I told you it's Morpheus. Am I Neo? No, you're not fucking Neo. I get up off the, he gets up off the toilet, he comes to the front door and he's, he's in his underwear looking down at me and I'd say, Bob, we gotta go. And then he puts his hand out and it's toilet paper and there's shit on it. Oh. That's what he is. Thank you for being a I bad like friend. <laughs> Goodbye, good night, thank that's you guys. One more time for Tom Segura. How about for Tom Segura, man?